Hello guys, Igor here, doing one more episode more review. Today analyzing goals and forms, a tool that just arrived on Sumo and claims to build unlimited online forms, surveys, and quizzes for any use case code free. It's an online form tool. You can create quizzes, surveys, forms for your business. Goals and Forms, a no-code survey form and quiz builder that simplifies data collection with dynamic templates and real-time insights. So it's an alternative to type form, service parallel, and WP forms and other form tools like Involve Me, Ada Form, a previous episode module. If you need a form tool, a quiz tool, that one may be the case for you. Let's see how the deal works. Everyone is going to get all future premium plan updates. So you're mapped on the premium plan. And if you buy more a higher tier, you get more domains, more file upload limited user and response per month. The best deal here for sure is the tier three, since you're gonna get unlimited domains, more uh, gigabytes as file upload limited, uh, more users and unlimited response per month. Workspace, forms, everything will be unlimited. Forms are unlimited on all those tiers, but on the tier three, you get also unlimited response, okay? But if you have only one business, the tier one will be good enough for you because you get five domains more than enough, 5k response per month is a lot. So if you have a small business, license tier one will work really well for you. So now let's take a look at the tool. Here you can see go Zen forms and you, you can see that the UE is pretty clean. The dashboard is pretty clean. You can create new workspace here. Okay. Just click here to create a new workspace. You're going to divide your uh, forms and quizzes by those workspace. Settings, you can add your domain, your custom domain. Remember, with tier one, you get five. If you buy a higher tier, you get more domains. And tier three, you get unlimited. You can start from scratch or choose from templates. Let's take a look at those templates. You guys can see that they have a lot of templates here and they are divi divided by type. Let's say an educational forms. They have six, one course registration, course application, student progress report. Let's take a look at that course registration form. It's pretty clean, it's look like type form when you see like that. So here is one template. Let's take a look at an another one, event management, Let's take a look that one, party invitation form, another one. So you can take a look at if you, if you think the forms are pretty or not for you. I think it's pretty fast. It loads pretty fast. E-commerce forms, usually people like, let's say payment details form. Here is the template. I think it's pretty, it's pretty clean. It's beautiful. I like it. Now let's choose one of those templates to work with it. Let's say here the event registration form. I'm going to click on use that template. You can see here on the left, on the left, you can see the fields. If you want to add more questions, you can start from scratch or you can use one of those templates. I'm using the template. Let's say I want to improve that template adding more questions. Just click here. And those are the kind of questions you can add. A paragraph, a short text, email, phone number, multiple choice, drop down, rating, payment, NPS, file upload, website, yes, no, date. So let's say I want to create a yes, no. So here, just type your question. My question here, something like, do you like me? Yes or no. Let's take a look at another one. Let's say you want to add a rating. It will work like that. Just say rate our service. They can just click here to rate my service. So it's pretty simple to create the form. Let's see the integrations. Look, they have Google Sheet, MailChimp, 
Publi, Active Campaign, Integrum Ads, Zapier, Custom Webhook, HubSpot, Sending Blue, Slack, Discord, Trace, SendGrid, Mail Leader, Campaign Monitor, a lot, a lot of integration you can see here. A Kumba Mail, Vibout, previous episode. Here you can add logic and conditions. For instance, if someone, you know, type a specific kind of reply, they can go to, you know, further on the on the form. It's good. Those kind of conditions are good to create quizzes, for instance. So the logic and conditions are here. You can change uh, change the team just clicking on the bottom here. And I'm going to change. And you can also create your team. Okay. Add in background, button text, change the color to fit your brand. You can share, you know, using your custom domain, of course. Just copy here and you can share your form. You can also embed the form as a pop-up, a slider, a side tab, and you can change uh, the size, large, medium, small. And also here, you can select the domain. You click here to get the code. They have also an WordPress plugin, so you can install the WordPress plugin and then embed the forms easily on your WordPress website. You can see the insights, summary, and response. You're gonna go here on the results. So it's pretty simple, pretty uh, straightforward. I like the tool. I think uh, it's easy to just start to create new forms or new quizzes. If you need a tool like that, goals and forms can be a good tool for you. I hope you like that review. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.